In step six of exercise number seven, the advanced features and controls on the technology page are used to demonstrate their effects on the iMachining toolpath. These include the entry rate slider for morphing spiral controls, as well as advanced channels and sorting options. Switch to the technology page of the iMachining Operation dialog box. For the purpose of this exercise, Zoom in to the area of the part geometry as shown. Click the visibility checkbox next to iRough main island in the cam tree. The toolpath is displayed on the model while the iMachining Operation dialog box is open. In the Morphing Spiral Controls area, there is a slider called Entry Rate. This slider enables you to control the rate at which a Morphing Spiral toolpath first enters the material. Here is the entry rate at level 2, which is the default position of the slider. It is important to note that the entry rate is automatically calculated by the wizard according to the stock material properties. In some cases, like with hard materials, it is better to enter the material more gradually than to directly lead in to the initial radial depth. For example, increase the entry rate slider to level 10. Click Save and Calculate to save the data changes to the operation and calculate the iMachining toolpath. As you can see, the toolpath is updated on the model and the morphing spiral enters the material at a much more gradual rate. Keep in mind that the value displayed with the slider only indicates the relative rate of entry according to the stock material properties and has no fixed units. Next, switch to the Channels tab and zoom in to the area of the part geometry as shown. By default, Island Moding is turned on. For the purpose of this exercise, set the radio button to off. Click Save and Calculate to save the data changes to the operation and calculate the iMachining toolpath. As you can see, the toolpath is updated on the model and island separation is not allowed. For this operation, turn island moding back on. Click Save and Calculate to save the data changes to the operation and calculate the iMachining toolpath. As you can see, the toolpath is updated on the model and island separation is allowed. Motes are a special subset of channels and are cut around islands whenever a morphing spiral or a trochoidal like toolpath encounters an island. By allowing the tool free passage around islands, this unique feature enables iMachining to clear most of the total area with morphing spirals. As a result, cycle time is reduced and tool life is extended. By default, the Modify Channel Parameters checkbox is disabled and iMachining automatically calculates the channel width and thin wall thickness parameters based on the current tool diameter. Channel width is the default width of all channels cut in the current operation. It is the width between centers of the tool, which results in the channel having a physical width of twice the tool diameter. Thin wall thickness sets the default thickness for any thin wall that is to be considered dangerous. The possible formation of a thin wall at or below this value is prevented by local widening of the channel. When the Modify Channel Parameters checkbox is enabled, the Channel Width and Thin Wall Thickness Input Field text boxes are open to be edited. If the current tool diameter changes when the Modify checkbox is enabled, you will be prompted to recalculate the channel parameters upon selecting the new tool definition for the operation. Like mentioned in the previous exercise, it is recommended to click Yes. The Modify checkbox will be disabled and iMachining will use the default values for calculating channel parameters. In the Separation Control area, the Separate slider enables you to control the separation factor for the operation. A high separation factor will inform iMachining to use more channels when applicable. The result can lead to more areas of separation, making it possible for iMachining to clear them with morphing spirals. 
If your machine can accelerate faster than an average machine, it may be more efficient to use a higher separation factor. Level 3 is the default position of the separate slider and is recommended, unless you have a machine with especially high or especially low acceleration. The advanced features on the sort tab are best demonstrated in the last iRough operation. Close the currently opened iMachining Operation dialog box with the exit button. In the Solid Cam Manager, disable the visibility checkbox next to iRough Main Island and resynchronize the subsequent iFinish operation. Right click iFinish Main Island and select Calculate. Double click iRough Mounting Holes to edit the operation. When the iMachining Operation dialog box is displayed, Switch to the Technology page and move to the Sort tab. Click the Visibility checkbox next to the operation in the cam tree to display the toolpath on the model. If multiple pockets are defined in one operation, like they are here, iMachining will sort the pockets according to the order in which the geometry was defined. Advanced Sort enables you to define the sequence of machining multiple pockets and manage its direction. For example, enable the checkbox and click the Advanced Sort button. The Advanced Sorting dialog box is displayed. You can choose either a linear or circular pattern. On the Linear tab, select the first zigzag pattern in the list and then click OK. Click Save and Calculate to save the data changes to the operation and calculate the iMachining toolpath. As you can see, the toolpath is updated on the model and the advanced sorting is used. In the step down order area, there is a checkbox called Complete Z Level. By default, this option is enabled. If multiple pockets are defined in one operation and they have more than one step down, every pocket will be machined by completing one Z level at a time. In some cases, it may be more beneficial to disable complete Z level. This will inform iMachining to complete each pocket before moving on to the next series of pockets. Depending on the geometry of the workpiece, the ability to disable complete Z level can help improve cycle time by reducing retracts and long position moves. Using the exit button, close the iMachining Operation dialog box. In the Solid Cam Manager, disable the visibility checkbox next to iRough mounting holes and resynchronize the subsequent iFinish operation. Right click iFinish mounting holes and select Calculate. At this stage, Step 6 is complete and the advanced features and controls on the technology page were used to demonstrate their effects on the iMachining toolpath.